textbook questions. One, what's the solution? Amit wants to take his granny to Australia, which is in the southern hemisphere. But she cannot bear very cold weather. When should they make this trip? Answer, they should take their trip between March and September because the southern hemisphere has its summer season then. Question number 2. Use your brain power. 1. It is sunrise at Ittanagar in Arunachal Pradesh. Write the names of the following cities in the order in which the sun will rise there. Mumbai, Maharashtra, Kolkata, West Bengal, Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh, Nagpur, Maharashtra. Answer. Kolkata, West Bengal, Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh, Nagpur, Maharashtra. Mumbai, Maharashtra. 2. How many rotations does the earth complete during one revolution around the sun? Answer. Earth makes 365 complete rotations and one quarter rotation. Question number 3. Fill in the blanks. 1. The motion of the earth around itself is called dash dash. Answer is rotation. 2. The motion of the earth around the sun is called dash dash. Answer is revolution. 3. The rotation of the earth gives rise to dash dash. Answer is day and night. Question number 4. What is meant by each of the following terms? A. Full moon. Answer. At night when we are able to see the entire illuminated part of the moon, it is called full moon. B. New moon. Answer. At night when we are not able to see the entire moon as it does not receive the sun's light, it is called new moon. C. Lunar month. Answer. The period from one new moon to the next which is of 28 to 30 days is called a lunar month. D. Tithi. Answer. Each day of the lunar month is called a Tithi. Question number 5. Answer the following questions. A. What is an equator? Answer. The imaginary circle exactly in between the north and south pole is called the equator. B. What are the two parts of the earth made by the equator? Answer. The two equal parts of the earth made by the equator are 1. Northern Hemisphere 2. Southern Hemisphere Extra questions. Question number 1. Fill in the blanks. 1. The imaginary line around which the earth rotates is called its dash dash. Answer is axis of rotation. 2. The imaginary line that divides the earth into two equal parts is called the dash dash. Answer is equator. 3. The earth rotates from dash dash. Answer is west to east. 4. We divide the whole day into dash dash parts. Answer is 24. 5. The earth completes one dash dash. It makes one complete turn around itself. Answer is rotation. 6. The period of time that the earth takes to complete one rotation is called a dash dash. Answer is day. 7. We divide the whole day into 24 parts, each of which is called a dash dash. Answer is hour. 8. The earth dash dash is inclined. Answer is axis. 9. There are about dash dash days and 6 hours in a year. Answer is 365. 10. The dash dash revolves around the earth and the earth revolves around the sun. Answer is moon. 11. We can see the moon because of the dash dash light which falls on it. Answer is suns. 12. On a full moon night, we see the entire dash dash of the moon that faces the earth. Answer is side. 13. A leap year has dash dash days. Answer is 366. 14. The moon has no dash dash of its own. Answer is light. 15. It takes dash dash days from the new moon to the full moon. Answer is 14 or 15. 16. The period from one new moon to the next is called the dash dash month. Answer is lunar. 
17 from the earth we see only dash dash side of the moon answer is 1 18 the fortnight from new moon to full moon is called dash dash of the moon answer is waxing 19 the fortnight from the full moon to the new moon is called the dash dash of the moon answer is waning 20 many of our festivals are connected with dash dash answer is seasons 21 the revolution of the earth and the inclination of its axis give rise to the cycle of dash dash answer is seasons 22 every day of the lunar month is called a dash dash answer is tithi 23 a day has two parts day and dash dash answer is night question number 2 name the following a the period of time that the earth takes to complete one rotation answer a day b the period of time the earth takes to complete one revolution answer one year c three main seasons in india answer summer rainy and winter d number of days in a leap year answer 366 e every day of the lunar month answer a d t f the cycle of six seasons answer ritu chakra g two parts of a day answer day time and night time question number 3 answer the following in one sentence one what is a day answer the period of time that the earth takes to complete one rotation is called a day that is 24 hours two what is the duration of a year answer there are about 365 days and 6 hours in a year three what caused the cycle of season answer the revolution of the earth and the inclination of its axis given rise to the cycle of seasons four what is the rotation of the earth answer the movement of the earth around itself is called rotation of the earth five what is the equator of the earth answer the imaginary line that divides the earth into two equal parts that is the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere is called the equator of the earth six in which direction does the earth rotate answer the earth rotates from west to east seven what is the revolution of the earth answer the movement of the earth around the sun in one year is called the revolution of the earth eight what is axis of rotation answer the imaginary line around which the earth rotates is called its axis of rotation it is an imaginary line between the north pole and south pole 9 into how many parts is the day divided answer the day is divided into two parts that is day and night 10 into how many hours is the day divided answer the day is divided into 24 hours 11 around whom does the moon revolve answer the moon revolves around the earth 12 what is tithi answer every day of the lunar month is called tithi 13 what is lunar month answer the period from one new moon to the next is of 28 to 30 days it is called the lunar month 14 what is waxing of the moon answer the moon takes a fortnight to move from new moon to full moon this period of time is known as waxing of the moon 15 what is waning of the moon answer the moon takes a fortnight to move from a full moon to new moon this period of time is known as waning of the moon question number 4 answer briefly 1 explain phases of the moon answer from the full moon to the new moon the illuminated part of the moon seen from the earth becomes smaller and smaller from new moon to full moon the illuminated part of the moon grows bigger and bigger these different shapes of the moon that we see are called the phases of the moon to write short note on leap year 
आंसर इन द ग्रिगोरियन कैलेंडर द इयर हैज थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव डेज इट काउंट सिक्स आवर लेस एवरी इयर दैट मेक्स ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स और वन डे इन एवरी फोर इयर दिस एक्स्ट्रा डे इज एडेड इन द फोर्थ ईयर इन द मंथ ऑफ फेब्रुवरी दैट ईयर विल हैव थ्री सिक्सटी सिक्स डेज दैट ईयर इज कॉल्ड अ लिप ईयर थ्री वॉट आर द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ द रोटेशन एंड द रिवोल्यूशन ऑफ द अर्थ आंसर द रोटेशन ऑफ द अर्थ गिव्स राइज टू डे एंड नाइट द रिवोल्यूशन ऑफ द अर्थ एंड द इंक्लिनेशन ऑफ इट्स एक्सिस गिव राइज टू द साइकल ऑफ सीजन्स क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव वॉट इज मीन बाय ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग टर्म्स ए वैक्सीन मून आंसर द फोर्थ नाइट फ्रॉम द न्यू मून टू फुल मून which is 14 to 15 days is called vaccine moon here the moon seems to become bigger and bigger that is it vaxes b waning moon answer the fortnight from full moon to new moon which takes 14 to 15 days is called the waning moon here the moon seems to become smaller and smaller that is it wanes Question number six. Give geographical reason. One, the sun, the moon, and the earth are not always along a straight line. Answer: The moon revolves around the earth. The earth revolves around the sun. These two orbits intersect. Hence, the sun, the moon, and the earth are not always along a straight line. Two, from twenty two March to twenty three September. northern hemisphere experience summer and southern hemisphere experience winter answer from 22 march to 23 september the days are longer than the night in the northern hemisphere it is warmer here so it is summer however at this time southern hemisphere nights are longer than the day so it receives less heat therefore southern hemisphere experiences winter 3 we see phases of the moon answer from the full moon to the new moon the illuminated part of the moon seen from the earth becomes smaller and smaller from new moon to full moon it again grows bigger and bigger therefore we see phases of the moon for the length of day and night is not always equal answer the length of day and night is not always equal because of the earth's incline axis its revolution around the sun so friends if you like this video please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you friends and bye bye